Welcome traders to another TechMill earnings report preview with me Patrick Munley. Before we jump into today's report, as always it's important we adhere to the risk disclaimer. The material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information and opinions expressed in this recording are solely mine and not indicative or representative of those held by TechMill UK or TechMill Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report. We're looking at Pfizer. They report before the bell in the US today. Earnings per share, $1.66 on revenue of $23.95 billion. There's a whisper number on the street that the earnings per share could come in as high as $1.77. Pfizer is coming off a blockbuster year in which profits and revenue nearly double due to sales of its COVID-19 vaccine. While the company's growth is expected to slow, uh, demand for the vaccine is likely to remain strong. The US Food and Drug Administration recently authorized a second booster dose of Pfizer's vaccine for people uh, over the age of 50, as well as the immunocompromised individuals. The need for booster shots will help to keep continual demand for the vaccine. Investors will be watching to see if Pfizer can maintain its strong financial performance when it reports today. Analysts expect robust growth in adjusted earnings per share and revenue, but at a significantly slower pace compared to recent quarters. Pfizer, in collaboration with partner German-based BioNTech, was the first company to receive emergency use authorization from the FDA for its vaccine. The drug is marketed as a commentary in another first. Pfizer's Paxlovid was the first oral antiviral treatment of COVID-19 to receive EUA, gaining the FDA's uh, approval in December 2021. The treatment is intended to be used for treating adults and pediatric patients at least 12 years of age who have tested positive for the disease and are at high risk of developing severe COVID-19. Shares of Pfizer have outperformed the broad market over the past year. The stock's performance gap especially widened between mid-October 2021 and mid-December 2021. Since then, however, it's lost some of its gains. Pfizer shares have uh, provided a total return of 31.7% over the past year, well above the S&P's 1.8% um, return in the same time period. Let's take a look at some of the statistical trading patterns around uh, earnings release for Pfizer. Uh, stocks moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings, 6 out of 12 previous reports. On average, stock moved up 0.1% the first day of trading. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Pfizer is more likely to trade lower one day after the earnings report for an average loss of 0.8%. Stock has moved lower one week after earnings, 8 out of 12 previous reports. On average, stocks move low by 0.7%. Let's take a look at the options market and see what they're pricing in. Options traders are pricing in a 6.3% move on earnings, and the stock has averaged a 2.3% move in recent quarters. Finally, let's get a sense of the flow and sentiment perspective. Um, big buyers of uh, 10,302 contracts of the $43.50 Books expiring May 6. Options order flow sentiment in general is bearish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release has about 62% expecting an earnings beat. Consensus assessments are for year over year earnings growth of 78.49% with revenue increasing 64.24%. Short interest has increased by 2.2% since the company's last earnings release, while the stock has drifted lower by 3.1% from its open following earnings release. Um, it's now trading 0.2% below its 200-day moving average of $49.17. Okay, let's jump into the chart here now and take a look at where we might find some trading opportunities on this earnings release. So, interesting setup at the moment in Pfizer. We've had a, an initial decline off the highs. I'm now tracking a potential three-wave corrective move. So, if we can hold this $47 handle here, any move back through the $50.77, I'd be looking to getting on the long side, targeting a test of $57.92 for watching for bearish reversal patterns to re-engage on the short side, looking for an equality objective down to the $41 handle. Now, importantly, if we don't get this bullish response and we take out this swing low at the $47 handle, then I'll be looking for a move down to test the 41 level uh, as the next meaningful support. So any close through $47 is a signal on the short side targeting a test down to the $41 handle. As always traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.